Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on shear transformation of a, of a square. And this time round, the transformation matrix is not the base matrix. It's not one zero zero one type matrix here. Okay, and it says find and draw the image of a square with vertices at zero zero uh, one one zero two minus one one under the shear represented by the shear matrix uh, zero point five. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 1.5. Okay. Now, not this is not the shear matrix. It's not the base matrix. Okay. Now, secondly, it then says, um, find the equation of the invariant. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Say, find the equation of the invariant line. Okay. Now, what I've done here is to multiply or, or to express my coordinates here as a matrix there. Okay. And then I multiply both and what what I do is you probably know this already you, you probably know how to do this is you do 0 0.5 times 0 plus minus 0 0.5 times 0 and you get there okay that's for the x and for the y you do 0 0.5 times 0 plus 1.5 times 0 okay. and you get 0 there okay similarly for this column here I do 0 0.5 times 1 plus minus 0 0.5 times 1 and I get 0 there and for the y, I do still with the same column. I do 0 0.5 times 1 plus 1 1.5 times 1. And I end up with 2 there. Okay. So in effect, uh, this set of coordinates, <coughs> set of co <coughs> excuse me, this set of coordinates will map to that. And this set of coordinates here, this one here, we map to that one there, and that we map to that one, and lastly, this set of coordinates we map to this one here. So now, if I draw my diagram, I end up with something like this one here. Now, the square is in purple, and the uh, transformed image or the image after transformation will be. The that in green there. Okay. Now note uh, a a prime and b transformed to b prime and c there transformed to c prime there and d does not move after transformation. So by definition, because anyway the uh, the origin does not move. Now d does not move. So these two points D and A, the two points D and A are on the invariant line by definition. And the line AD has the equation of Y is equal to minus X. Oops, sorry, minus X there. Oops. <laughs> And that's the second part of the equation. Okay, that's minus x there. Sorry about that. Okay, now I can do this another way. I can say, well, if I, by definition, if a point is on the invariant line, it will not move. So what we're trying to show that is that x y here, this coordinates will be the same as x prime y prime. So if we multiply out we get something like for x prime, we get this there. Because uh, 0 0.5 times x plus minus 0 0.5 times y, we end up with this here. So call up my equation 1. Now, next, I do uh, 0 0.5 times x plus 1.5 times y, and that will give me the value of y prime. So I've got, I've got, so I've got that there. Now, if I add equations 1 to equation 2, 
and get that. Now don't forget that if these two points, if y prime, if x prime, y prime, and x and y are on the invariant line, then x will be the same as x prime and y will be the same as y prime. So now if we didn't do that, and if we didn't add, because now y prime is the same as y and x prime is the same as x, we end up with 2x plus 2y is equal to 0 there. In which case x plus y is 0, in which case y is equal to minus x. So the equation of the invariant line is y is equal to minus x. Now to check, let's take a point on the invariant line, the point minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 there. Okay. And if you do your multiplication, you should end up, if that point is on the invariant line, you should get you should also get 0 0.5, 0 0.5 there. Check it out and see yourself. Now I do hope uh, that all that uh, made some sense and please please subscribe and watch some of my other videos and please please donate to help me carry on with my uh, uploading some more videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye now. Bye bye.